guys and welcome back to the Cassie Projects. In today's video I'm going to be talking about gouache. I'm going to be comparing some different brands and I'm also going to be doing a lovely little painting using my gouache paints. Basically a few people had asked what's the difference between the jelly paints and normal gouache tube paint. I have ordered a few different gouache brands and I want to compare that to the Himi jelly paints so that you can see if there's any difference there. So gouache, what the heck is gouache? It's been going around the internet a little bit lately. It almost seems like a new thing out but actually gouache has been going for a very long time. A lot of new brands are making new gouache products such as the jelly paints that I used in one of my previous videos. I don't know, they've revamped the gouache scene a little bit. Gouache is in between watercolour and acrylic. So you've got your watercolour, you've got your gouache, you've got your acrylic, you've got your oils. They're like the order of difference. Oil and watercolour are like opposite ends of the spectrum. Acrylic's kind of in the middle. Gouache is kind of in between those. And you can also get different types of gouache as well, just to make it a little bit more complicated. Let's talk about the consistency of gouache, what it is and what it looks like. It's very similar to watercolour, the way it applies, the way you can mix it with water. It is water soluble. Watercolour has that more transparent look to it, so you can see your drawings underneath. Whereas gouache is more opaque and also gouache has that very matte finish as well so it's a really lovely paint to work with if you enjoy using like watercolors and acrylics it's just very different the only way of understanding it is by using it and just trying it out now gouache has some different subgroups as well so we've got acrylic gouache and we've got watercolor gouache the watercolor gouache is what I've been describing is more like a watercolour whereas the acrylic gouache has more of an acrylic consistency bear with me so acrylic gouache you can apply layers basically so it stops it from being water soluble so you know when you put another layer on top of watercolour and it blends together whereas with the acrylic gouache it works more similarly to acrylic once it's dried you can add more on top of that. Does that make sense? It's really, really, really difficult to explain. I don't know if my my knowledge has passed through to the camera very well, but I'm hoping that through this video it will make a bit more sense. Whew, that was hard work. Right, so this is what I've got. As you've seen me use before, the Himi gouache jelly paints. So these come in this lovely set and you have the little tubs of your gouache paint. Now these are called jelly paints and I'm gonna explain a little bit about the texture of them compared to the normal tube gouache in a minute when we swatch them. One second, got me for mail. Anyway, got distracted. Where was I? What was we talking about? Help me out here. We're gonna compare the texture, the feel of these Himi gouaches to these lovely acrylic gouaches. I've got some Winsor & Newton. I've got some of this one, which is Shinan gouache. And this actually says on there, hybrid of watercolor and gouache. I've got some lovely Holbein ones. This comes in a little adorable set. Like, seriously, how cute is that? Oh, and I bought a load of blues because I thought that way I could give more of an accurate swatching session. So yeah, let's do some swatching. Okay, so first up, what I want to do is write out the names of all the paint. I'm gonna compare all the different gouaches to my Winsor & Newton watercolour paint. So this is the watercolour, and I'm also gonna compare them all to an acrylic paint. This just gives me a good idea of whereabouts they stand in between these two different styles of paint. Now, as you can see with the Shinhan gouache, it's uh, very loose, it feels very much like the watercolour when you add the water to it. It's very pigmented and really beautiful. Same with the Winsor & Newton. As soon as you add water to it, it acts like a watercolour and it's so lovely. Again, super pigmented. And it was very similar with the Holbein gouache as well.
Okay, so onto the Himmy jelly paints. Now here is the texture. It's not like jelly, if that's what you're expecting. It just does feel like paint. Um, but it, it's just a little bit more set than the gouache paint. It has more of a thick consistency to it. Then we've got the acrylic gouache and this acts so much more like an acrylic paint. It, when the water is added to it, it doesn't blend like a watercolour would. It blends more like an acrylic. And then the Reeves, which is the acrylic paint, works exactly how an acrylic paint would. It doesn't blend into the water straight away. You have to really push it to do that. You still see the brush strokes and so on. So my initial reaction is, well, <laughs> using the actual watercolour gouache has made me see that the jelly gouache isn't all that great. But this is just a swatch, this is just a sample. The Kimmy jelly gouache felt more like the acrylic gouache. It didn't blend like watercolour. Whereas the Shinan, Windsor Newton and the Holbein, they just felt beautiful when the water was added to added to it it felt like a watercolour paint but super pigmented it felt right it, it's all down to preference i suppose if you like more acrylic kind of gouaches you'll probably be more into the jelly gouache but if you're more into the watercolour you might actually feel like that it feels like a cheaper gouache the whole bind gouache is very beautiful it just felt like quality, it was really nice to work with. Windsor Newton, really nice. The Shin Hand Gouache, again, really nice. Doesn't look as nice on the swatches though. The Holbein Gouache looks really nice on the swatch. It, it's done that similar trait that watercolour has where it's kind of got that outline around the edge where the water is mixed in with it. This is very interesting. It's like an interesting experiment. Acrylic's horrible. <laughs> not used to using acrylic because I've just been using watercolour so much that acrylic just felt so brushy. I don't know, it just caught every stroke. It didn't blend, it didn't feel like... Whereas those proper gouaches, the more watercolour hybrid gouache, they were very nice to work with. What I might do next is do another coat of it, see if the water blends into it or if it just sits on top of it like an extra layer. This is fun, isn't it? This is really fun. Ooh, experiments. So what I'm doing is just adding a bit more of the watercolour to my brush and then adding it onto that layer to see what it does. And then I'm doing that with the gouache paint to see if it mixes in with that first layer or if it sits on top. As you can see, the gouache, it mixes in. The, the uh, Himmy Jelly gouache, however, does something a little bit different. It kind of is very much in between the acrylic gouache and the watercolour gouache. And then obviously with the acrylic, it sits on top. I also wanted to do this last test where I'm gonna use some of the white gouache paint and the acrylic gouache paint and the jelly gouache paint to see how it sits on top when it is more at a pure level. So the whole Holbein gouache, I just dipped it in the paint and then did these waves and it sits on there amazingly. Then I'm using more water with the white and it mixes and blends into that first layer to create this light blue, even though that first layer was dry. Very similar action with the Himmy Jelly Gouache. The Lascou, I've got to work out what how to pronounce that, um, the acrylic gouache, basically it sits on top of it a lot more like an acrylic wood. That first layer seems dry to me and it blends a very slight amount but not much. And then you'll see how the acrylic paint acts, it sits on top. That first layer is completely dry. was interesting wasn't it? You know how I was saying the Himmy Jelly Gouache seemed more like an acrylic gouache? 
that's not the case it is like more of a watercolor gouache but it's just not very good Com compared to the the tube gouaches it's just not as nice yeah if you're used to gouache i don't know if you're gonna like it to be honest because it's different it's very different yeah it acts differently to both really i'm not saying it's bad at all i don't know much about gouache at all but it doesn't blend like a watercolor well it does to a certain extent that's what it is i think it's a, just a bit more a bit more set so you have to get it going more to make it blend nicely the holbein gouache is gorgeous using the white over the blue worked when i used it thicker when i added more water to it to blend it out it blended straight into the blue like a watercolor very nice i really like that the lescou acrylic gouache lesco lescou i'm not really a fan of that really it just it felt like a bad acrylic paint some people will probably disagree if they like acrylic gouache but i don't know it just me and then the reeves acrylic did what acrylic does the white sat on top of the blue it didn't blend into it once it's dry you put it on top there's not much more i can say about it and i really hope that that helps so this next bit is going to be a painting i am going to do a painting for tom for valentine's day tom if you're watching this you're going to have to turn this video off now i know i know you're completely engrossed and you want to watch the rest of this video but sorry babe you gotta stop it there and you've got to wait until next sunday because this one's for you. What I'm gonna do is a monotone painting. I'm gonna do it all in blues, cause obviously we've got a lot of blue here for my accurate testing. It's gonna be a blue monotone painting and it's gonna be a picture of himself playing guitar. But don't worry, it doesn't look like him. He doesn't want just paintings of himself. He's not, you know, completely full of himself. <laughs> He's a little bit, but not completely. <laughs> a photo I took of him playing his guitar and it's just like a close-up of his hands on the guitar and I started drawing it but never got around to finishing it I'm gonna do this all in blue tones and see how it goes I don't know it, it might might not work out very well I'm not really a professional in gouache paint we'll see anyway I'm gonna shut up let's get painting
like me, you love to get creative, whether it's art, crafts, DIY, baking, whatever you enjoy doing, then feel free to join in with my art club. So it's called Cassie's Creativity Club and it's on Facebook. Basically, what we do is share our artwork and encourage each other. I absolutely love to share your work that you've shared on my creativity club. So as I was saying, it's not just art, it's not just crafts, but also we have some amazing bakers in our group. This week I wanted to share these amazing bagels that Faith made and I am dying to try them out. Look how good they look. Uh, very impressed Faith, good work. Okay, so random comment of the week is from Chelsea Ray. She said, you are so creative. Uh, love your channel. Stay safe and shine bright. That's so lovely of you. Thank you so much. I love being creative and I love that that shows through my videos. Just thank you so much for all your support and um, for enjoying my videos. So if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week. Bye.